Hello, seventh graders, and welcome to your module five spelling for this third trimester. It has been a very interesting year, but it's almost over, and we did it. I want to congratulate all of you who have been consistently doing a great job getting better and better. Now, people, as I've told you before, probably, the purpose of education and of uh, learning something is to cause change. So once you learn something in spelling, you need to start consciously applying it to your daily life. So for instance, a few weeks ago, we dealt with the beginning letter S, the S sound. So at this point, nobody should be talking about a spelling class, okay? Or a stomach, as some of you, some of you made that mistake in, in the previous class. You already practice and you still say a stomach. That's not correct. So focus, pay attention to all the things you've learned. And also the letter V, the V sound. You need to start integrating these into your regular English speaking activities. So in this class, we're gonna be dealing with the TH sound, F and V. And it sounds complicated, but it's not. So what I'm looking for is that even when you're calling out the numbers, I don't wanna hear number three. There is no number called tree, arbol, numero arbol, I don't think that exists. So you need to integrate it even into that. So instead of saying number three, I need to hear number three. And number 13, not 13, because we don't know what 13 is, number 13. Let me share my screen with you and let's get right into this. So practice, 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 practice a lot before you make your recording. As you're listening to this, you're watching this practice. So we, the TH in English can have at least two sounds, the voiceless and the voiced. The voiceless would be th, as in think, thing, think, thing. And the voiced TH would be th, as in these, those, these. Those, you hear the difference between think and these? You're still using the same position of your tongue between your teeth, but in one of them, you're not using your vocal cords, and in the second one, you are the, the, okay? And you can practice putting your hand here. You can do think and these. You can see the difference. So let's go down this list. Remember, as always, hello, teacher. My name is Peter Peterson, number one, number two, number three. No additional introduction. If you have any questions or comments, send me an email. Let's go down this list. This time you have 25 words and you're really good juicy words. So let's start. Number one, there. Number two, thank. Number three, thing. Number five, four, theme. Number five, throne. Number six, gather. Number seven, ethnic. Number eight, methamphetamine. Methamphetamine, I love that word. <laughs> Number nine, either. Number 10, smother. Careful with the S, S smother. Don't let me hear you say S smother, no. S mother. Number 11, ethanol. Number 12, healthy. Number 13, another. Number 14, unworthy. Number 15, plethora. 16, cathartic. 17, mythology. 18, breath. 19, breathe. You see the difference? The first one is breath. The second one is breathe just because it has an E at the end. So breath, breathe. 20, authentic. 21, anthropologist. 22, beneath. 23, bath. 24, bathe. 25, wrath. Let's go over this list at least two more times. Number one, there. Number two, thank. Three, thing. Four, theme. Five, throne. Six, gather. Seven, ethnic. Eight, methamphetamine. Nine, either. Ten, smother. Eleven, ethanol. 
12, healthy, 13, another, 14, unworthy, 15, plethora, 16, cathartic, 17, mythology, 18, breath, 19, breathe, 20, authentic, 21, anthropologist, 22, beneath, 23, bath, 24, bathe, and 25, wrath. Whew. And one more time. There, thank, thing, theme, throne, gather, ethnic, methamphetamine, either, smother, ethanol, healthy, another, unworthy, plethora, cathartic, mythology, breath, breathe, authentic, anthropologist, beneath, bath, bathe, wrath. Please remember that in English, sometimes you do not pronounce some of the letters that you see. Some of you have the habit of trying to read English as you read Spanish. Don't, okay? And that's why this class is so important because it helps you realize that sometimes the way you spell a word is not the way you pronounce a word, okay? So pay particular attention to number 20, for example. You might feel tempted to say authentic, but no, it's aw, aw, authentic, okay? And you might feel tempted in number 19 to say breathy, no. The E is silent, it's breathe, okay? Anthropologist, healthy, unworthy, plethora, cathartic. I like the word cathartic also. Methamphetamine, notice that the PH sounds like F, methamphetamine. Good words. Okay, kids, if you have any questions, any comments, please send me an email. It must be english at gmail.com. And I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. See you next time and have fun with this and practice, practice, practice. Bye-bye.